Hey everyone, how's it going? In the past few days, I've been really quite busy reorganizing my entire room after a few trips to IKEA. And uh, I think this is probably the best my room is ever going to look. So I know a number of you in the past have asked for a bit of a room tour, so I figured this is a good opportunity to do that now. Uh, also, I'll be shooting this video on the new Sony Alpha 6000 that I bought along with the SELP 18-105G uh, power zoom lens. So this video is also going to be a chance to check out the way autofocus and all those other kind of things work. So without much further ado, let's do this. So we'll start over here and this is where you're probably most familiar. This is the 27 inch iMac that I have yet to make a review of. But uh, as you can see, it has pretty much, uh, you know, in my earlier videos, I used to do them with a 24 inch Dell screen. And you can see that this new monitor is a lot more proportional with the two speakers on either side. Uh, I often get asked what these speakers are and they are Actimate Minis from an Australian company. I don't even know if these are available internationally or not. Um, but they are really cool speakers and I'll eventually get around to doing a video of them one day. Uh, you can see down here we have the O2 uh, and ODAC combination that I use as my headphone amplifier. Uh, the ODAC is just hiding underneath the uh, O2 here. And these are isopod speaker stands uh, from isoacoustics. Now you can see the DAC that I use for the speakers is the act, uh, sorry, the micro uh, music, sorry, the HRT Music Streamer 2 Plus, which is just going to these speakers here. Now you can see here that I have the Sony SA5000. Uh, this is really more or less ornamental because I actually don't listen to this headphone all that much. But uh, because I think it just looks so cool here, I normally have it sitting on the corner there. Um, okay, so as far as keyboard goes, I actually use a mechanical keyboard, uh, a DAS keyboard. Um, first and only mechanical keyboard I've ever bought. These are fantastic, but they're very, very, very noisy. So everyone will know that you're typing when you use these. Uh, and then for a mouse, I use a Razer Imperata. I actually don't do all that much gaming, but I do prefer using gaming mice because I just find them a bit more comfortable. Now, heading over to this corner here, uh, and you can see this is actually where I put my headphones using Sennheiser HH10 headphone stands. And if you haven't seen these before, these are incredible because you just attach them to a desk, they hang off, means the headphones don't take up any additional space. So we have the MA900 here, which is my go-to headphone for normal everyday listening. I have my uh, Audio-Technica AD1000X here. Now, I used to have a bunch of these all along the side, but that just got too much to manage, which is part of my reorganization. Now, just looking at this nice IKEA table here, I have my Surface Pro all sitting happy here. We have these, uh, you know, bobblehead toys that uh, I used to see everywhere. Now, they've disappeared, but, you know, they've been going strong for a few years, mm, whatever. Um, so, we have a bunch of stuff here. We have my uh, Philips audio dock, which I use to charge my phone just by my bedside. There's a clock readout, but unfortunately you can't really read it during the day. A little bit unfortunate with that. Uh, I have another Sennheiser HH10 here, and this is where I can put my daily portable use headphone, which is right now the Sennheiser Amperia. And I also hang my Sony MDR7550s here. So I can, you know, just listen to music in the bed, and then when I'm done, I can just hang them up without getting out of bed. So that, that's a new thing actually as part of the organization. I'm rather happy with how this is working. Uh, one of the drawers here, I'll just show you. This is where I keep all my in-ear earphones. You can see that there's quite a collection here. Um, I need to uh, really get rid of some of these or sell them rather. Um, but you can see they're all packed in pretty nicely here. Lots of little boxes. And this is the one thing that I can really advise you do if you're going to collect in-ears. Uh, use uh, you know compartmentalization to keep everything organized. And I got these little compartment boxes from uh, Daiso, which is some sort of two dollar eighty kind of Japanese store that's opened up in Australia, which is really cool. So yeah, that's where I keep all my in ears. Um, could be a little better organized, but I'm pretty happy with the way this works at the moment. Now, as you can see, this is just my bed, uh, nothing interesting here except for the peanuts bedspread. You can tell that I'm a very mature person. Uh, moving on to this side here, we have uh, 
my horribly arranged CD collection because I don't actually have a CD rack and I'm always trying to find one. Uh, you can tell, you know, it's, you know, it's organized up to this point because of the book ends and then it's all kind of looking a bit precarious at the top here. Uh, I'm actually expecting a bunch of these CDs to just drop off the side and down the back of this thing. So do not uh, learn from my example here. This looks absolutely terrible. Uh, this is the bag that I'm using daily at the moment. This is from Crumpler and I think it's called, uh, it's called some insane name. So it's uh, the vegetable from inside the mountain. Um, very, very strange name, but uh, it's actually a really nice bag I found. it's uh, I recently found out that I had slight scoliosis of the back, so I should stop using sling bags just on one shoulder. Uh, and this bag can fit uh, my Surface Pro, it can fit also a tablet, a bunch of other things, water bottle, and it's extremely lightweight, so, you know, really awesome gear. Now, this is also the major part of my new... Uh, uh, rearrangement. This is this trolley basically is where I keep a lot of my stuff now. Um, so the first, uh, the first section of the trolley is just stuff that I actually use for for production or video shooting or anything like that. So you can see tripods. This is the whiteboard that I occasionally use to give me some notes when I shoot videos. And um, we have the MDR ZX701 here as the monitor headphone, um, tripods, etc., etc. And then there's the Zoom H1 microphone in here that I use to shoot all my videos normally. Though right now I'm just using on-camera audio. Um, we have here just the, you know, CDs and that kind of thing, computer peripherals. Uh, one thing really awesome that I have here is this old DVD RAM disc. Does anyone still remember this format? It was so cool. I really wish that uh, I could find a reader. I'm going to take it out of this packet, sorry. Um, I really wish I could find a reader that could read these discs in cartridge format because this is just honestly, it's like some crazy love child of a floppy disc and a CD. So really awesome stuff there. Uh, so the Xbox 360 controller. I have here this uh, keyboard, wireless keyboard and trackpad combination from Logitech that I've bought just to do the Hangout videos because it was like 30 bucks or something. Um, so I haven't had a chance to really use that, but so far it's been okay. Um, just in this trolley here, this is where I keep all my portable headphones for now. Uh, and you can see right here, they're packed in really tight. I need to get rid of some of these. Uh, we have this Domokun bag, which I've actually found is the ideal uh, container for my O2 amplifier and DAC when I need to take them on the road for meets. So, um, you know, that's worked out quite well. Um, and then here are the full-sized headphones. Again, I know this looks terrible. They're all just packed in here. Uh, there is a bit of organization here. Honestly, I do need to uh, sell some of these. So eventually, once I do another big roundup video, I'm going to probably put some of these on eBay. But we have the uh, AKG612 that I'm trying at the moment, the DT880, uh, a bunch of stuff in there, Fos6 T50RP. Bunch of stuff in here. Again, you can see that I've got boxes here to uh, organize everything again from Ikea. I think these boxes are called Skub. S-K-U-B-B-B. -B -B. Um, so, an unusual name. And again, have a bunch of random stuff just here, just for charging, etc. Now, I've got my router and my cable modem set up here. Uh, I actually just did this yesterday, so I put them up with 3M command hooks that are usually used for uh, taping picture frames to the wall, but I found that they will hold this uh, router and this cable modem on the wall quite solidly, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, this router is not cheap. It was a the uh, Netgear R7000 Nighthawk, I believe it's called. Um, and, uh, you know, I got this because Dad was complaining about... Uh, it's patchy wireless in the house, and so uh, basically I said, well, if you're going to pay for it, uh, we'll just get the best thing there is, and apparently that's this. So it looks like a pretty serious piece of equipment. Uh, previously, uh, before the latest firmware update, every single one of these lights lit up during the night, which was terrible because they'd just be blinking all the time, and then you wouldn't be able to get to sleep. But luckily in the latest firmware, you can get it just to display the power light, so that's been really good. Um, so over here I have my bookshelf and that's my new acquisition, this new houseplant. Apparently having a houseplant in your room is good for your health or something like that. I don't know, I've just had it here. 
Uh, on the bookshelf, you can see here I've got quite a selection of books. A lot of it quite kind of uh, old stuff, but uh, some of the pride of place items I should point out. Uh, really cool art books. Um, this North Korean propaganda art book. Now, I have a big thing about Soviet realism. Uh, my friends got me this on a trip, so this was really awesome. Um, you know, I have a bunch of soft toys again. Um, there we go. We have a Rainbow Dash. I'm not a brony, but Rainbow Dash Dash Rainbow Dash Dash. Um, we have this hoops and yo-yo thing. Oh, whatever. Um, it's a fortune-telling uh, machine. And we have this charming photo of me when I was a bit younger and uh, far more of a chubster. Um, so, a bunch of manga comics here. Oishinbo, which is one of my favorite manga series because it's all just about eating. Uh, the Neon Genesis kind of stuff as a manga dial. Absolutely love it. Um, and then we have some more serious fiction, oh sorry, serious non-fiction at the top here. Uh, Catch-22, one of my favorite novels of all time. Um, also, these portal book stands that my sister got for me for a gift. These are incredibly awesome, so I'm thinking of portals. And then just a bunch of game discs up here. And then on the floor here, we've got the Audio-Technica ADG-1 review unit that Audio-Technica has lent me. So that's uh, something you should look forward to for review. Bunch of random stuff over here. I'm still trying to chew through the entire Oran High School Host Club manga collection that um, you know I actually bought for a friend and then borrowed and then I've just kept for ages now so feel a bit guilty about that. So anyway that's pretty much it when it comes to my room. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the footage because I had this on autofocus and auto ISO which is something I wouldn't normally do but I'm just trying it out with this new camera and lens combination. Uh, also let me know whether you like the video by hitting the like button and I'm looking forward to your comments. And as always, uh, enjoy the rest of your day.